say promotion does not come from the east. It does not come from the west. It comes from the Lord. And it comes from the Lord if you obey certain principles. Certain principles. The Bible makes us understand that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. For the fact that you don't know, it will give you a big problem. Knowledge is the principal thing. There are times I will pray for something and I will not receive the answer until God will give me a revelation knowledge and He will now reveal the answer and the solution. I will just obey the revelation and I will be smiling. So, certain knowledge can be a revelation to you. Certain knowledge, certain thing you acquire either through teaching, either through ministration, or through impartation, it could be a revelation. And it will be so easy for you to go to the next level just by knowing the writing and just by following the writing. In Acts chapter 13, verse 2. Acts chapter 13, verse 2. The Bible says there, And as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work thereunto I have called them. Can you imagine? Paul and Barnabas. God said, Separate two of us. Put two of us. Let's separate them from the congregation. Separate them from the people. Let them go and do the assignment I have given them. It was thus said the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine the Holy Ghost says something? Then it must be real. It must be real. Because when the Holy Ghost speaks, it does not lie. It does not lie. And you obviously you know, when you speak against the Holy Ghost, the Bible says, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. No forgiveness. You see how, how serious, how real is the power of the Holy Ghost? How powerful he is for him to say, separate unto me, Paul and Barnabas, for the gospel. In Acts chapter 13, verse 46, something happened. Then Paul and Barnabas was bold. Did, were they weak? Were they weak? They waxed what? Bold. They were bold like a lion. And said, It was necessary that the word of God should first be spoken, have been spoken to you. Be, but seeing ye put it from you and judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life. To we turn to the Gentiles. For so had the Lord did what? Commanded us, saying, I have said thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the end of the earth. Can you imagine? One, the Holy Ghost spoke. Secondly, the Lord commanded two of them to go and preach to the Gentiles. The Lord commanded two of them. To preach to the Gentiles. So they went out. Preaching to the Gentiles. But look at what happened. In verse 30. 30 in Acts chapter 15. Verse 39. Turn me to that place. Acts chapter 15. Verse 39. And the contention was so sharp. Between them. Who were there? Paul and what? Barnabas. The same people. They had received call together. Holy Ghost spoke and God commanded them. Now two of them had what? Contention. Two of them have quarrel. Two of them have misconception and misunderstanding. And the contention was so sharp between them that they departed asunder one from another. And so Barnabas took Mark and sail unto Cyprus. 
And Paul chose Silas and departed, being recommended by the brethren unto the grace of God. Can you see that word? Be recommended. Barnabas and Saul, Paul, was chosen by God, appointed by God to carry the gospel to the nations of the world. And because of misconception and misunderstanding, quarry and other things, they departed one from another. And that was the end of the story of what? Barnabas. It, we never heard about Barnabas again. His own elevation was closed from there. His name ceased from that op from operation. There were principles he would have employed in order for him to be elevated, but he never knew those principles. He 